Willer's visit. That was the sweetest sound I had heard probably during my entire prison bid. I stopped thinking about the gang politics. I stopped thinking about the fact that I was gone from the street society and freedom for 10 plus years. I stopped thinking about, I don't know, everything, all the negative stuff, everything, all those thoughts, they went away because now I was finally able to see my girl. Uh, the one person that had, man, stood up for me in the midst of adversity because she was a former employee, an employee when we started dating. And because, you know, people running their mouth or whatever, being nosy, um, some other situations, eventually she was faced with, you know, this choice. And it was either give me up so she could stay working for DOC. And she knew my time would have got ran up. They would have probably did some things and me, sent me back, you know, higher levels um, or she could walk off. And that's what she did. So it took, man, almost two years for us to see each other. The entire time since she had left Greensville, um, it was just phone calls. It was letters. And now that we were on St. Brides, we could have our visit. And I was on my way. I was walking down the boulevard. Um, you know, I got fresh had my blues on, you know, paid the brother two soups to iron everything good, had my oil, you know, my state boots, everything was clean. I was on my way to the dance floor, as they call it. Um, and I remember it was like, I don't know, it was like almost being free again, the feeling. I knew I wasn't going to be able to walk to the, out the gates, but this is also a time where I hadn't gotten visits in forever. And... I was going to be able to be around people and back in an environment like the visitation room where at least if you weren't on the streets, it didn't feel as much like prison. You know, there's still barbed wire and you know there's a guard there and all that, but you are with somebody that cares about you, vice versa, and you can tune everything out. And that's what I was looking forward to. Went through shakedown, um, you know, went, checked in at the desk. And they told me where to sit, and I went, I sat, I waited, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like a freaking forever, which of course it was, because they had stopped her up front because her name was flagged. She was a former employee. They put her through extra shakedown, you know, procedures. You know, they wanted to do the extra. They couldn't stop her from coming in, but obviously somebody had a problem that she was. Um, and she was finally able to make it back after like 45 minutes of me waiting or whatever for her to get in there after they called my name to be in there. And um, when she walked in, I seen her smile. That was it. You know, I she went to the desk to check in. She walked over, I stood up, we were able to embrace, and then we sat down. And it was time for us to have a conversation, a conversation that we hadn't had the entire time we'd been together. And that was a conversation face to face now that we had built a relationship. It was a conversation that needed to be had, a conversation that would determine ultimately if we were going to keep going forward or not. And we we're about to have it.